All right, ladies and gents. So I just saw that there was an update to Mr. Multiman. So uh, this is the file I'm going to have you download right here, Multiman 04.85.01. Uh, uh, this is just an update to the 4.85 version of the Multiman. Uh, this brings compatibility for PS3 Hen and uh, the uh, hybrid firmware configuration. So uh, starting. So I'm just going to take port uh, here uh, USB drive and I'm just going to copy this multi-man to the root of the USB like so and again the link will be in the description below for download so just go ahead click on that download the file and proceed as the video follows and you should be good to go so now we're going to hop over to the PS3 and update our multi-man that we have on our system All right, so popping over to the PS3. Uh, well, I'm running the Rebug Custom Firmware 4.84.2. Uh, like I said, this is the update for Multiman for 4.85, and this is bringing compatibility to uh, HEN-enabled PS3s as well as hybrid custom firmwares. So uh, if you have Rebug or Habib Custom Firmware, you're going to look for your Packages Manager. If not, you're going to go and load your Multiman and queue the file and install. Uh, but for me, just going over to Package Managers and I'm going to select Install Package Files. From there, you're going to go down to Standard. And once you select Standard, it would help if I put the USB port inside my PS3, huh? That would be great. Oh, it's the end of the night. You got to forget something once in a while. Okay, standard, take two. Ta-da, there they are. So I'm just going to scroll down to this uh, Multiman 4.85.01 base and hit X to install. Same version is already installed. Do you want to continue installing? Just click yes because you want to add that compatibility. And especially if you're running the PS3 HEN or hybrid custom firmware and you might have downloaded the 4.85 version and it was not working proper, then you're going to want to hit yes and reinstall it all together anyway. So once that's done, I'm just going to come down here to my backup managers, open that up, and I'm going to boot up the multi-man. Now let's see what happens. And voila. So Multiman will boot up. If you haven't installed the 4.85 version and you're still running an older version, like say for an example 4.40 or something like that, uh, it will probably ask you the four prompts. Uh, just hit yes to all of those, obviously, and uh, that's pretty much it. Right now it's just installing system data and applying the standard theme, again, as usual, based upon first boot. And there you have it. So there's Multiman uh, 4.85.01. So rate, comment, and subscribe. Again, the link will be in the description below. And uh, enjoy your multi-man and all you hen and hybrid custom firmware users. Enjoy your multi-man up to date. So talk to you all later and enjoy.